Welcome back. As usual, yet another curveball. So today we're going to take a brief look at Stephen Malinowski's conductor program. Uh, I'm, you can find his website at musanim.org, I think. Let me double check that. Yeah, I'm sorry, musanim.com. M-U-S-A-N-I-M.com. Uh, he's developed this application that, that is called Tapper. Exe. And uh, let's briefly get into this. So, everyone is an electronic musician. Some of us push only one button in a performance, and some of us push many buttons. Actually, there could be an instrument, and it could be a choice to also not push the button, could be part of a performance too. But yeah, there are many ways people can share the responsibility of making music. In fact, if you look at some of Nintendo's earlier uh, demonstrations where they're talking about future consoles and applications that they're working on, they're always working on some things that are artistic in nature. And so you can find um, it's not just other groups, other development studios and platforms uh, with their various music games. But um, yeah, there's you, people could collaborate in composing and performing the music, uh, composing the music or performing the music. The composer can leave the performance to other musicians rather than perform it themselves. The group of musicians can hire a conductor and so forth. So there's a lot of different ways that people can participate in the design, development, and execution of music let alone post-production and so forth. So uh, some of this is described in his implementation of the conductor program Tapper, which is available as freeware. And his objective is to provide an introduction to the idea of the computer program um, and for Tapper to provide an introduction to the experience of doing computer-mediated musical performance, an introduction, by the way. Not a complete, full implementation of every possible way that you'd want to use a computer in a computer-mediated musical performance. It's not a final product. It is freeware. It's an introduction. It's not comprehensive. But uh, both are works in progress, and he's open to suggestions, although his time is limited, as he mentions later. And you can read the rest of this on musonym.com by Stephen Malinowski. Rather than diving into all the amazing, amazing things that he's written, much of which I have read already. Uh, let's just dive into the using the program, shall we? So let's say we have this score. Say we get this piece by Schubert, and it's got like five minutes of repeated octaves in it. And everything else in the performance lines up with the playing of this rhythm. Well... What do we do? Here we can actually see this da, 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 right there. And so it's entirely possible with just computer mediation to do these performances live. You can find, in fact, Stephen Malinowski has a series on YouTube. You can find uh, a number of his uh, musical animations, which I think is where Musonym uh, the website uh, comes from. And so there's many beautiful works of art that accompany uh, MIDI score. Uh, Schubert's piece here, Ekenig, I can't pronounce that, but um, The Elf King, is uh, in the public domain, as are some MIDI arrangements of it. So let me just briefly... Oh, do I not have... Yeah, I do have, here's uh, Wikipedia. We don't need to belabor that point. Here I have a performance guide, or um, function keys description for the website, or for the application. And so there's a lot of examples in this. And I was just trying to figure out, well, how the heck do I use this application? I was looking more for a readme when actually this PDF, which has dot .doc in the title, but whatever, is shows how you would use all the shortcuts uh, or all the keys 
um, and what the application does in response to this. So to play, you just do Q-U-E-R-T-Y-U-I-O-P, whatever grouping of these characters you want, and it'll perform the piece for you. So without further ado, uh, the Elfin King. I gotta say, this is far, far easier than trying to do it on the keyboard. On a musical keyboard, that is. apologize that uh, my performance could have been better. Perhaps I need more practice, but it's kind of fantastic that um, you can operate this the same way as a music box would be operated, just cranking it by hand and such. So yeah, now with uh, it's also worthy of note, like I was demonstrating the simplest possible way to use this, it turns out you can actually select for multiple MIDI input devices and have multiple MIDI output types. Uh, there are other controls here. I don't think the, even though this is freeware, I don't think it is uh, open source. So source code might not be available. So yeah, let's play the last part with more dignity. There we go. Um, but yeah, many, many thanks to Malnowski for uh, introducing us 
to this experience of computer mediated musical performance. No doubt there are many, many, many other scores that you can apply different rhythms to. For example, like I could imagine Claire de Lune, you take that MIDI score, perform it um, instead of this rigid, rigid tempo, you could perform it uh, rubato, uh, having time to breathe between the notes and such. And by the way, that apparently this is supported. You can have pedal events and such, and you can choose whether or not to play channel 16 MIDI events or not. And you can dictate when you're outputting to MIDI, should this all direct to channel one, or should this direct to multiple channels as is whatever is dictated in the music score. So I believe here I have a music a MIDI file where you can see all three voices here uh, as different MIDI channels. So that was what was depicted here. And yeah, if you could search a little bit, you will find Malinowski's animations on YouTube. And uh, I don't think I have more to add at this time, other than this is absolutely fantastic and amazing. And I wish there were more programs like this, but for that to be feasible or possible, uh, more people have to develop things like this, more people would have to make uh, the source code available so they could collaborate with each other because it's quite rare to find somebody who takes a product or a project this far. This is absolutely incredible how far this was taken. Um, and I'm only just scratching the surface of it with you here today. So that's it. I hope we've enjoyed this very, very brief overview and skimming through um, Malinowski's Conductor. Perhaps at some point in the future we'll explore this further. Uh, thanks for watching.